from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint crimson cloaks. If you'd like to support the channel, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now on to the video. So this is the cloak that we're going to be working on today. The only thing we're not going to do is the gold trim, but I'll be doing a video on how to do that gold trim at a later date. First color we're going to use is Citadel Corn Red. We're going to give the whole cloak a coat of this. Now if you watch the video of doing red cloaks a while ago, we started with Mephiston Red and that gives you that nice red orangey coloured cloak. This one is going to be more of a deeper red, so it looks a kind of a little bit more regal than maybe the red orange one does. We'll give this a thorough coat of corn red and then we can move on to the next colour. Now it's going to be a layer of Carobird Crimson, so you're just going to wash the whole cloak in Carobird Crimson. You'll also see me painting the handles on the sword and the little sword that's belt as well, because this is from a video I'm doing for this Praetor. We'll give the cloaks a good coat of Carobird Crimson, and we can move on to the next colour, which is going to be back to Corn Red. So what we're going to be doing here is you're going to be using the Corn Red on the crests of all the creases, leaving the Carobird Crimson shade in the recesses. Now the reason to do the shade all over rather than just doing certain areas of it is because you can then kind of roughly blend in the corn red to the Carobird Crimson shaded areas and you have that colour going into the darker colour in the recesses. So you can see here I'm doing the side to side brush strokes going down the cloak. What that gives you is the smoother edges, if you drag the brush away from the shaded areas, you'll get less paint in those areas. Because you're using a tiny little bit of paint on the brush each time. And it'll also give you that kind of striated effect, maybe, of kind of cloth and the lines on the fabric too. So I'm trying to keep the brush strokes all in the same rough direction for that reason. So once you've done the corn red, we're going to move on to Citadel Wasdaka Red. You're going to do exactly the same, going from side to side. And each time I am dragging the brush away from the previous layer. So I'm going left to right when I'm doing the left side of it, and right to left when I'm doing the right side of it. And you're just working the Wasdaka red into the corn red, and highlighting those crests. So you're leaving some of the corn red on show, you're leaving the Carobird crimson on show, and you're adding the Wasdaka red as another layer of highlights. You can see that it is making that section stand out a lot brighter than the rest. So this is what you want to be doing on each of the crests and working that all the way around in the areas which will be catching the light more. I usually would say if the light was coming from above but that would probably catch the recesses on the cloak as well so I do the cloaks a little bit different from the way that I do the armour and that just makes the shape of the cloak and those curls and stuff like that of the cloak stand out a lot better. So I'll leave that there and we'll move on to the next layer. So you can see here where the Wasdaka Red is standing out. We're now going to move on to Citadel Pink Horror which is a great colour to highlight Wasdaka Red. And you're going to be using this doing almost slight edge highlights, but you're also going to be using it to do some of the wider highlights on this. We're going to be doing another layer after this just to do the very thin edge highlights on some of the creases. You can see the work in the colour onto those creases so that you get all of the details standing out. And by doing the highlight on the top edge, of those sections it makes it look like that part of the crease is catching the light a lot more. So we're doing exactly the same as we did with the Wasdaka Red but to a smaller extent and highlighting the ridges and the crests of each of those creases. The final colour we're going to use is Citadel Emperor's Children, which is a 
brighter shade of pink. We're just going to do some final, really thin edge highlights on the creases. We're also going to do some tiny little edge highlights on the sections around where that trim is. There'll be a video showing how to do the gold trim coming up this week. You just want to pick out those details so that the shape of the cloak really stands out and you get that really nice contrast between the light highlight where it's catching the light and the dark where it is in the shade. It's probably slightly more exaggerated than it would be in real life, but it does look quite cool on cloaks. It makes them stand out against the figure too. That is the finished cloak. There's a few more pictures of it from different angles after the outro, but I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel, you enjoy the content, and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.